Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips. Today in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing and talking about the Unique Breeze drone. Now, first off, I apologize for my settings. I'm outside once again. I'm away from home, away from my studio, and so I'm having to make the most of it. I hope this video satisfies your need with knowledge and stuff, so just ignore the background and focus on the information I'm pointing into the camera and the mic. Yeah, anyways. This drone is about six to seven months old, so kind of a little late to be reviewing it, but I do think it is still a worthwhile thing to be doing because the drone market has shifted quite a lot in the past three to four months. You had the DJI Mavic, the GoPro Karma, and then you had a bunch of startup companies releasing stuff that was like, whoa, what is going on? However, I do still think that it is worthwhile for some people to buy this drone. Now it retails for about $500. Over the holidays, they had a promotion going where you could get it for 400. So yeah, that sucks if you didn't pick it up then. Maybe they are selling it at cheaper prices on some sites, but I don't really think so. And before I go any further with the review, I just want 30 seconds to compare it to other drones. I know if you're looking at this, you're mainly looking at a review of this drone, but it is worthwhile mentioning that this drone for $500 compared to this drone, which is the DJI Mavic for $999, about the same size as on portability. However, the video you're gonna get out of the Mavic is almost professional level. You could almost consider if you were licensed selling it to realtors or whatever else. And what you're gonna get out of the unique breeze is amateur at best, honestly. And the drone is underpowered so that if you have any wind, it's gonna get blown about. That's just the honest truth. This compares more to the Parrot Bebop than any of the DJI products or any of the products from GoPro even. The GoPro Karma, people have been hating on it a lot, but that drone is 10 times the drone what this is. So definitely understand what you're getting. Okay, now enough of that rant out of the way. Getting to some good things about this drone, which there definitely are. First off, the size and durability. As you can see here, other than the bottom landing gears, which fold out, and the propellers, which actually collapse nicely when you hit stuff, nothing is really bendable or moving on this drone, which means unlike the DJI Mavic or other drones which have a gimbal, you're not looking to replace a $200, $300 gimbal every time you crash. So that is definitely something that's really nice about it. Also, it's smaller than any of the other drones and quieter with these smaller props. So when you're flying it, you're not gonna attract as much attention and people aren't gonna be freaked out that you're spying on them or whatever. It doesn't have any sensors for front facing or side facing, so you're not gonna avoid obstacles. If you fly at a tree, it's gonna hit a tree. But it is really nice that it does have downward facing sensors here on the bottom. So when you're landing, it's not gonna come flying down to the ground really fast and crash hard. It will sense, you know, when it's going to land, how far away it is from the ground so it can slow its descent and won't give you a heart attack and won't risk hurting the drone. Otherwise, personally, I was pretty put off by this drone. I am used to flying the DJI Mavic, the GoPro Karma, um, a lot more professional drones, the Phantoms, even the Inspires, which are definitely geared for professional flyers or prosumer flyers, people who have flown before and really know what they're doing. One example of how this is geared for beginners is when you're using the orbit mode, which comes in the bundled app as one of the options of flight. You would usually think that rotate left would be rotating left for what you see on the screen. However, they have it set up so that it's literally you are rotating left from you. So if you want the drone to go to your left, you'd rotate left. Usually with most other drones, almost every other drone I've flown actually, when you hit rotate left in orbit mode, it's gonna rotate for the drone's left and not your left. Yeah, so that led to a crash early on, uh, one of my first or second flights with this drone. However, I did bounce back from that initial I hate this drone feeling. It does have a lot to offer. Despite only being able to control it with your smartphone, I have been able to get it out almost 350 feet, which is pretty decent. It's definitely nothing that incredible. Um, I really wish they would have an option like the Parrot Bebop or Parrot Bebop 2 to add an additional controller to extend the range because it isn't so much that you can't fly out really far. It's that the reliability of flying in areas where there's congested Wi-Fi environments or other interference means that you can only get out so far and you, your signal, for especially for the video downlink, is quite choppy. Also, the ability to add a remote controller with sticks would make a controlling it a lot easier because when you're looking up to try to keep line of sight, keeping your hands on the device's controllers are just 
yeah, there's nothing to feel on a smartphone screen. So you're just kind of pressing around and hoping. And you're supposed to be flying line of sight, so I don't know what they're thinking. Now, other than that, who is this drone really for? I would say it's definitely geared for beginners, probably someone who has never actually flown a drone before and doesn't even really want a drone. You just kind of want to get pictures from above because the video quality with this is not good. It does have electronic image stabilization, but that's never going to be good unless you're flying on a perfect day and you've really mastered the controls. Still photos from this, however, are actually pretty decent. They don't have any HDR or bracketing options, but you can manually set up EV compensation higher or lower, so you can do, pull out stills and try to merge them in post. The GPS hold isn't quite so good with this, so don't make sure there's not stuff in the foreground. But if you're taking some big landscape photos from above with this, you could actually probably do some decent HDR work. If you don't want to get into drone flying with the Mavic, the Phantoms, or drones like that, and you just want something that you can put in your suitcase, take on a family trip, and get some cool photos and selfies of your group out without holding a selfie stick, you know, just it's basically just one step beyond the selfie stick, then this is really an option. If you were thinking of getting this, I possibly would wait till they either lower the price on it or Unique releases an update to it, possibly a Breeze 2 or something like that. But yeah. It does what it says. The videos that they put up online of it are uh, pretty misleading though because it is not a good drone for video. But yeah, if you want something beyond a selfie stick basically is what I'd say the advertisement line is for this drone. Definitely give it a look. It's only 500 bucks, but look around or wait for another price drop. Battery life is pretty short. I don't have any exact measurements of how long it is, but it was about maybe 10 to 12 minutes tops. They don't actually give you, like most other drones, a, how much flight time you have remaining. It's simply a percentage. And once you get down to about 15, 16%, it starts dropping off pretty quickly and you gotta land it immediately. Also, one nice thing that I would think they should include is an SD card port. It only has internal storage and only, I think, uh, 15 gigabytes of internal storage. So seeing them put that in would definitely bring this to a point where it could be considered by slightly more like professional, if you can even say that word around this drone people. Uh, but the fact that it only has internal storage means that you have to literally connect the drone to your computer to get images and uh, videos off it. You can download it obviously over Wi-Fi to your phone, but if you want to do any serious video editing or picture editing, you're going to probably be doing it on your computer, which is another reason this is really intended for people just trying to get something that's an extension of their smartphone uh, so that they can fly, get a cool picture of the fam, put it up on Insta and get likes. Now that is my review of the Unique Breeze drone. I'd like to thank Lumoid actually for sending it to me to review. Uh, they rent out tons of stuff online for people shooting videos. You can get kits ranging from video DSLRs to point and shoots to even drones like this. Personally, as someone who likes flying drones, uh, it's actually a pretty cool thing to be able to rent stuff out and try it out before you buy. You know, if you have a Phantom, for example, and you want to try an Inspire, you can rent their Inspire, try it out, and see if you like it to buy one. Or if you have an event coming up that you'd like to cover with aerial footage, you can rent a new drone if you think that your drone isn't good enough. You know, they have Inspires, which top of the line there. Or you could get a Phantom or a Mavic or really anything in between. They also have cameras, lenses, yeah, just check out the link. I'd like to give them a big shout out again because I wouldn't have been able to review this drone otherwise. So that's about it, guys. Uh, follow me also on my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe, thumbs up. Don't turn them up. Don't thumbs down. And yeah, that's really it. Again, I apologize for this, ow, rocky, grassy filming set, but thank you for watching, guys. And as always, have a nice day. Peace out. Bye. I don't really know where am I supposed to go. How am I getting off frame? Did not plan this out. Go to the tree. <laughs> I'm in the tree now. You cannot see me. Ouch.